Hello and welcome to your weekend Bible inspiration. Today is another weekend. Today is another day that the Lord has made. And the Bible urges us to be, to rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, because we have a Father who knows all about us and knows what is in this day. So, Papa, we thank you so much for your faithfulness, for your love and kindness, for, for your protection, for your deliverance. Thank you so much, O oh God, for all that you do for your children. May your name alone be exalted in Jesus' name. And even as we journey through the psalm, we pray the Lord Jesus, you will speak to us today too in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah and amen. People of God, We'll journey through Psalm 64. Today we are reading through Psalm 64. This psalm is a psalm of David. Hallelujah. Let's hear the word of God. Hear my voice, O God, in my meditation. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret plots of the wicked, from the rebellion of the workers of iniquity who sharpened their tongue like a sword and bent their bows to shoot, to shoot their arrows, bitter words, that they, that they may shoot in secret at the blameless. Suddenly they shoot at him and do not fear. They encourage themselves in an evil manner. In an evil matter, they talk of laying snares secretly. They say, who will see them? They divide iniquities. We have perfected a shrewd scheme. Both the inward thoughts and the heart of man are deep. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly they shall be wounded. So he will make them stumble over their own tongue. All who see them shall flee away. All men shall fear and shall declare the work of God. For they shall wisely consider his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and trust in him. And all the upright in hearts shall, glorif shall glorify him. Hallelujah. People of God, this is so sweet. We serve a living God. Our God is our protector. He is our mighty warrior in battle. He is a God who speaks and no one can challenge. His words alone brought the whole universe into existence. This is the God we serve. This is the God we adore. This is the God who has called us for himself. The enemy hides to shoot arrows against us, but they will never succeed. No weapon fashioned against us shall prosper. And any tongue that rises against us, who speaks evil against us, when I say us, God's children, they have been condemned already. So people of God, all we need to do is to put our whole trust in the Lord. All we need to do is to glorify him. All we need to do is uplift his name. Because what God does for us, we have no idea. We see only little of them. But most of the things he does for us are mighty. Who are you trusting today? In whom have you put your hope? Our hope should be in the Lord. God hates iniquity, but he loves. He loves the sinner who has turned from his iniquity. People of God. The Bible tells us that the enemy will rise and encourage himself. They will come from different angles and encourage themselves in evil matters. And they will think that no one is looking at them. They will say, who will see us? But God from on high sees them and all their schemes. God will fight for you. It does not matter how strong and how, how the battle is like. God is a mighty warrior in battle, the captain of the host of Israel. This weekend, I pray that the Spirit of God will hover around us, that the Spirit of God will direct us. Father, we pray that you open understanding 
Speak to us in a special way. Reveal yourself in diverse ways. Even through children, please speak to us. Through adults, through creation, through visions that you've give to, you've, you give to us today. Speak to us, Lord, so we'll understand you and know you better. In Jesus' name. People of God, please share the word. And if you have not subscribed, please do. And let someone also hear the gospel today. God richly bless you and enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.